The year was 1971. An engineer named Bob Thomson at BBN, an American research and development company later acquired by Raytheon, created the world's first virus proof of concept, dubbed the Creeper. Although credited and referenced by various entities as the world's first computer virus, the Creeper actually exhibited the behavior of a worm. I am the Creeper and catch me if you can. This is what the virus said. And the world was never the same. With over 12 types of malwares and over 100 types of viruses lurking around the network channels of the internet waiting to curb innocent users and exploit vulnerabilities, the 21st century saw a tremendous growth in cyber crimes. And so did the need and demand for cyber security experts. Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll take a look at malwares, the bread and butter of thousands of hackers globally and what are its various types. We'll dive deep into understanding how each of these malwares function and how they differentiate from each other. But before that, if you enjoy watching these videos and find them attractive, then subscribe to our YouTube channel because we bring the best videos for you daily. Also, press the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. As we know, the demand for cybersecurity personals is skyrocketing. So if you want to master the field of cybersecurity, then Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity in collaboration with MIT is clearly the right choice for you. This postgraduate program in cybersecurity is designed to equip you with the skills required to become an expert in the rapidly growing field of cybersecurity. This cybersecurity program aims to help you stay ahead of the latest cybersecurity trends. Key features of this program? Simply Learn's postgraduate certificate, master classes from MIT faculty, featuring modules from MIT SCC and EC Council, access to CEH kit, 25 plus hands-on projects, and many more. This cybersecurity certification program begins with introductory level skills and then progresses to advanced cybersecurity technologies. This program covers all the essential skills you will need to become an expert in the field of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is one of the top concerns of businesses today in any industry. From securing data to anticipating cyber attacks and placing enterprise-wide safeguards to prevent them, employers worldwide are increasingly looking for qualified cybersecurity professionals to join them. So what are you waiting for? Find the course link mentioned in the description box below and enroll today. So without any further delay, let's jump directly onto our topic for the day. So let's start with what is malware. Malware is a short form for malicious software and it's like a sneaky digital intruder that infiltrates your device without permission. It's created by cyber criminals who want to disrupt, damage or gain unauthorized access to your personal information, financial data or even control your device remotely. Think of malware as a digital bully that's up to no good. So let's understand how does a malware work. Step 1. Intrusion. Malware sneaks into your device through various entry points like malicious email attachments, infected websites, software vulnerabilities, or even through removable storage devices like USB drives. Step 2 is execution. Once inside, the malware starts executing its malicious code. It may install additional files, modify system settings, or create hidden processes in the background to evade detection. Step 3 is persistence. To maintain control over your device, malware often tries to establish persistence. It may create registered entries, modify startup settings, or hide in system folders, ensuring it launches every time you boot up your device. Next step is exploitation. Malware takes advantage of vulnerabilities in your operating system, applications, or network to spread its reach. It may exploit security weaknesses to propagate across networks infect other devices or steal sensitive information. The step 5 is malicious activities. Now that the malware has settled in, it carries out its intended actions depending on its type. This could include stealing personal information, capturing keystrokes, encrypting files, displaying unwanted ads, or even hijacking your device for cyber criminals' remote control. The next step is concealment. Malware often employs techniques to hide its presence and avoid detection. It may use rootkit technology to hide its files and processes, employ anti-analysis measures, or encrypt its communication with command and control servers to evade security measures. The last step is damage or profit. Ultimately, malware aims to achieve its malicious objective. It may cause damage to your system, compromise your privacy, steal financial information, or create opportunities for cybercriminals to profit. 
Have you ever wondered how it feels to be a cybersecurity expert after gaining a certification? So let's take a minute to hear it out from our learners who have experienced massive success in their career after taking the cybersecurity course. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm 61 years old and last year I upskilled with Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity after working 30 years in the IT sector in various different profiles. I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples and was led by highly skilled and certified instructors. I worked with many companies before as a security analyst and an architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability, which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. It happened after I took the First and foremost, I've been a learner. Be a learner first. Now that we have a good idea of how does a malware work, let's understand the different types of malware. More than 12 types of malwares are present in the world today, and each of them is threatening to different extent. So let's discuss some of the most common and hazardous malwares. The first is virus, a classic troublemaker that attaches itself to a program or file, replicating and spreading across your system. It can corrupt or destroy data and even render your device useless. The second one is Worm. A sneaky creature that replicates itself and spreads across networks causing congestion and slowing down systems. It can also exploit vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access. The next one is Trojan Horse. Inspired by the ancient Greek tale, this malware disguises itself as a legitimate software tricking you into installing it. Once inside, it opens a backdoor, giving cyber criminals remote control over your device. The next is ransomware. This villainous malware holds your data hostage by encrypting it. The cyber criminals then demand a ransom to restore access, leaving you feel like a character in a digital hostage situation. Next is spyware. A nosy little malware that secretly monitors your activities, collecting sensitive information like password, browsing habits, and even keystrokes talk about an invasion of privacy. The next one is Adware. An annoying troublemaker that bombards you with unwanted advertisements, pop-ups and redirects. It's like a clingy digital salesperson that never takes no for an answer. So those are some of the truly menacing types of malware. But knowledge is power. So how can we protect ourselves from these digital villains? The first step is keep your software up to date. Regularly update your operating system, antivirus software, and applications. These updates often include security patches to fix vulnerabilities. Use strong and unique passwords. Avoid using common or easy to guess passwords. Opt for a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Next is be cautious while you are online. Avoid clicking on suspicious links, downloading files from untrustworthy sources, or opening email attachments from unknown senders. Stay vigilant. Next one is install reputable antivirus software. Invest in reliable antivirus software that can detect and remove malwares. Last is backup your data. Regularly backup your important files and data to an external hard drive or cloud storage. That way, even if your device gets infected, you can restore your files anytime. So I guess you guys must have got a good idea about what is a malware and how to stay safe from a malware. So that's all we had for you in this video. We can call it a wrap now. If you still have any questions or doubts, let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will help you at the earliest. So thank you so much for being here today. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe and keep learning with Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.